Hi there, I am Dr. Amber Belt, and today what I wanted to do was present a case study to you. And I want to present a case study because I want to reduce fear, and I want people to realize that getting sick isn't a death sentence. Um, in my experience, um, early treatment lessens intensity of symptoms, it shortens the duration of the illness, and it also makes my people less prone to getting long haulers. So I wanted to present this case study um, for you today. And my computer's right over there, and I wanna make sure I'm accurate, so you're gonna see me look over there to make sure I've got my, my story straight here. So um, this patient is in her mid-40s, and she is obese, and she caught a virus. And generally, with the particular virus that she contracted, for people who are obese and have other comorbidities, the outcomes um, are not good, or they're less likely to be good, I guess. So this patient's symptoms started on January 9th. Um, treatment started early in the morning on January 10th, and she self-initiated treatment with several supplements we had discussed and a few medications that I had prescribed. And then she and I had a consult via phone on January 11th. And these were her symptoms at the time. Um, she, just, she had a sore throat that she described as strep throat level sore throat. And if you've ever had strep throat, <laughs> you know exactly what she's talking about. I've had strep throat once and yeah, I still remember it. And I was 16 years old. Um, she had body aches. Um, she had chills, but they were infrequent. She would get the chills about once every eight hours. So just about three times a day. Um, a headache that she described as annoying, and some mild fatigue. So those were her symptoms with this uh, virus. What she didn't have was a cough. She didn't have a sh she didn't have shortness of breath. She didn't have a fever, and her appetite and her sense of smell and taste were normal. Okay. So what I did at the time after consulting with her, I added some supplements into the mix that were specifically for inflammation for pain and for fatigue. I wanted to support those systems um, in her body. So then we did a second consult to check in on January 17th. So, you know, six days later. So at the t that, that time, my patient was feeling much better, like much, much better. Her main complaint was um, that her sinuses were feeling very dry and sandpapery. And we talked about it and we attributed that feeling to one of the medications that I had her using um, via nebulizer. So like a breathing treatment. And I, we think that's what was causing that, you know, extreme dryness in her sinuses. But her energy was really good. Uh, her sore throat was completely gone. Her pain was gone and that annoying headache was gone. So she was feeling much better. What we're going to do from now moving forward is we'll have her continue some of the supplements and medications. Next week, she's gonna come in for a nutrient IV um, just to bolster her, her system and give her any vitamin or mineral support that she might need um, via IV. And then I we're also going to draw blood and check her labs for both inflammatory markers and clotting markers, because after this particular virus, those are important things to check. So to wrap it all up, I just wanna reiterate, like getting a viral illness, particularly the very common one that's going around right now, it's not a death sentence. Um, and it can be well managed by, well managed at home with early treatment. So, um, if you don't have a practitioner who's willing to help you with early treatment, it's definitely worth seeking out a naturopathic physician or a functional medicine practitioner, you know, or other healthcare practitioner who can help you out with um, a plan for your early treatment. Now, if you want, I can go into more detail about what specific supplements and medications I used with this particular patient, but I need to do that via email. If you're interested in getting that type of email, I will definitely send it out, but you just need to either comment here or DM me so I know that people actually want that before I put in, you know, <laughs> hours of work on an email. I wanna make sure that you want that. If you wanna sign up for my email list, that's in my bio. Um, and that's it for today. Please uh, 
please feel free to share this. I'm going to put this up on my YouTube channel um, if you're watching this on Instagram so that you can share that link with whoever you'd like. All right. Bye-bye.